Good morning. How y'all doing today? This is Kay. Happy Wednesday morning. Yes, I've been up, and you know I'm a little late on my daily bread because I have some family here from out of town, and they sleep, and I had to let them get some rest. They're going to get up about 8, so I kind of tried to wait a little while, close their door so they can, you know, get some sleep. But we're going to get into this daily bread, and it's going to be coming out of John 1 and 11. Yeah, I'm looking at the news and doing a little bit of everything. I've been on live with several people, so um, we're going to get into that in a minute. Let me go ahead and get my grace in. God is great. God is good. Let us thank him for this food. By his will, I feel. Give us, Lord, our daily bread. Amen. Oh, honey, it's a beautiful day. I can't wait to show y'all the outside. So here's my breakfast, y'all. I'm going to just show you. Oh, you know I got to go get me some Texas tea. You know, I like my eggs kind of runny in the middle. And I put some cheese in there, y'all. That's a bunch of sharp cheddar cheese. Hang on, honey. Y'all know I got to go get my hot sauce. Good morning, good morning. Get my hot sauce and shake it up. I'm a little Oh, I know I better have me another bottle. Oh, it's getting low. Let me get my vitamin C's, too. I'm about out of them. Me and my daughter been taking them. I take two a day, and I told her, to, you know, whenever she over here, grab her, too. Ain't nothing wrong with it. I'm about to get some more. Because they about out. Yep, good morning, good morning. Look at him. Mm -hmm. I'm about to, you know, I'm going to get some more of that Texas pee. As y'all can see, I'm off today. I'm going to be out for a few days. Just a few. I will be going back to work soon, but it will be at another location. Miss Kate is transitioning to another job. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I just want to say one thing about the whole situation. You know, if you're being mistreated on your job and harassed, uh, accused of stuff, lied on, just being just basically bullied, don't don't take that. You know, um, you first you go by chain of command. You go to the you know the, the officials and see, let them know. And then after that, you know, instead of getting into all kind of legal battles about something, just move on. Because like I say, everybody, there's so many people hiring around here in Charlotte, it ain't funny. If you ain't, if you ain't worried about uh, passing no drug tests, if you ain't got no drugs in your system, you can get a job. I'm just going to keep it real with you. A lot of people not working because of the things they putting in their bodies right now. If it's somebody out here unemployed, and I'm, and I'm just keeping it real, it's because they doing something they ain't got no business doing. They hiring people with felonies. They hiring people with criminal records. They hiring people all shape, forms, and fashion. All you got to do is want. And you know what you got to do to get there. You can't be drinking. You can't be on drugs and doing all kind of stuff or it's not going to happen for you. So if you don't have that to worry about, getting a job ain't no problem. Honey, they hiring it even in pie factories, okay? Everybody is hiring. There's no excuse for no one not to have a job. And there's no excuse... For you to have to take harassment to pay your bills. If you trust and believe in God, which I do, he going to make sure you okay. No, I'm not at Subway anymore. And I will not be going back. Yes, I, I just, I like being happy. I don't like being sad. I don't like being, you know, crying and being upset. And I don't like being harassed by nobody. I've been working at that, at that, for that company for over 11 years. And ain't how somebody going to just come up to me and tell me I don't know what I'm doing. I, be, I was doing something right. I was at one location for 10 years. So, you know, uh, you know how people try to make you feel like everything is your fault and stuff like that. But don't take that, y'all. They was taking away my smile. They was taking away my joy and everything. And I just couldn't, ha I couldn't take it. So, I had to roll out. So... We're going to get into this right quick. I'm going to get my daily bread, but I got to taste this. Y'all, I'm a little hungry. I had to postpone it because you know I didn't want to wake everybody up. Now look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. So we got eggs to cheese. Mm. Y'all been hungry for real. Mm. Now, in this bowl, I got some 
I slice up some uh, potatoes mm. with some onions and turkey sausage. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, um, I had to do that. There's so many people on live this morning. And, um, mm. let me move this to the side, huh? I said my great job, but I was hungry. Let's move all this out of the way. Mm. Mojo. Whoa. Okay, now that hit the spot right there. Okay, y'all. I just wanted to give a shout out to Anointed Royal Strong Maroon. I guess I'm pronouncing that right, Maroon. He gave me a suggestion to read Psalms 35 and 91. I did read it, and I looked over it, and it is a little long, but I want to do my daily bread. Okay, this is, uh, Psalms 35 is a petition for God's intervention. Okay, I will give you that much. Again, that's Psalms 35. I want y'all to read that, okay? And then, also, he gave me uh, Psalms 91, and that is abiding in the shadow of the Almighty, meaning, you know, you in his arms, you in his wings. And he gave me a suggestion, you know, going a little fast and everything, and, you know, pray about stuff, you know, because I was, you know, communicating with him on Mr. Mail Advice. His live. He's at, he's live right now. And when I finish my daily bread, I'm going back over there. And then again, that's Mr. Mail Advice. He has a very interesting live on. They're talking about a little bit of everything. And so, everybody putting their topics in. And we just been talking. Probably We've probably been on there over an hour. I'm, I'm sure. Because I got up super early. It was still dark when I woke up. Now the sun is out. So, y'all step in and check that live out. Again, that's Mr. Mail advice. Yes, I, I make notes, honey, because my mind, uh -uh -uh, I ain't going to remember everything and everybody. And then again, uh, shout out to Anointed Royal Strong Maroon. M-A-R-O-N. <laughs> y'all know how I am with pronouncing words. Okay, let's get into this daily bread, y'all. It's going to be a beautiful day. I'm about to get on the computer after a while. My neighbor. Uh, we're going to get on the computer and, you know, dot a couple things online for me. You know, she's real good with that kind of stuff, and she's going to help me out. I can do it, but I, I like I like representatives. You know how you can go to the Goodwill? That's a good spot to go to, too, y'all. That is very helpful. It's on Wilkinson Boulevard, and it's called the Goodwill. It's the new office where they moved off of Freedom Drive. All you got to do is go in there and just put your stuff down on paper, sign in, they give you a card, and they will actually have a representative sit with you. Not the whole time. They bounce around. They like floaters. And then make sure you get your applications in correctly. And then they got a um, a job search program in the Goodwill, y'all. Inside the Goodwill. They got a credit union in there. You can go get medical help. They even got a cafeteria for where you can eat, where you can shop. When I say it's a, a mini village Goodwill, it is. And it's very helpful. Very helpful. Very helpful. Y'all need to check that out. And again, that's on Wilkinson. Y'all can look it up. I don't know the exact address. Because I catch the bus there when I go. And I mean, when you come out of there, if you got a car, you'll have a job. They even send you on little uh, a job for the day. I mean, if you just need to make money, if you need things to do, you know, you know to, to help your finances. You, you ain't coming out of there without a job. And if you got a car, that's a plus, I'm telling you. So, y'all check that out. That's on Wilkerson. And that is the goodwill. If you want a job, you can get one. Okay, let's let's get into this daily bread for my time running. I'm just talking. Again, it's coming out of John 11. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. Jesus tried to minister to the people of his town, but they rejected that he was the Son of God. They only saw him as the son of a carpenter. There are many other Jews who were referred to as God's own, who rejected Jesus Christ as the Son of God. Two, this is how Jesus ended up being crucified, but this did not deter Christ from his mission. He held nothing against anyone who rejected them. He forgave them and prayed that they would be saved. Amen. Okay, now uh, we're going to go to the quiz because I'm running out of time, okay? 
He came unto his own, and his own received him not. And that was John. Okay. Well, y'all have a blessed and wonderful day, and I hope you enjoyed the verse. Again, y'all go to Psalms 35 and 91 and give it a look-see, read it. I mean, it's just, you know, give everything to Jesus. Give it to him. And, you know, I know everybody say, girl, where is you? what is you doing? You know, I wonder if it was me, but no, it's not me. It's just that some people just expect too much from you. I ain't going to say my pay wasn't good with this last place I was. It was, but it's just people uh, this person one person i just could not take anymore and i'm not gonna have nobody be little me and i'm not gonna lose my joy for no one i i would get to the point i was fussing and cussing and can on and all upset crying and can on bringing this stuff home i mean it was just too much for me and god said you let go i take care of you and i'm done so, y'all have a blessed and wonderful day. Again, y'all can go to Mr. Mel Advice. He's on live. Now, let me get back over there before I miss out on something. Y'all have a blessed day. Talk to you guys later. Bye now. Whoosh. Oh, y'all know. Y'all know I'm going out the door. I, have, I ain't even been looking for my red birds. Y'all got to see the outside. I want y'all to see this sky. Good morning. Good morning. Look. Look at that. Ain't that something? Oh, that, that was a little bird right there, but that wasn't my red bird. Listen at them. They see me. You hear them. <laughs> Listen to the birds. Hey. Mm -mm. That's nature's music. Sing it, babies. Sweet, sweet. <laughs> Let me get in here before I wake my neighbors up. I'll be up just cutting up too early, y'all. All right, well, y'all have a good day. I'm going to say bye again. I'm, I forgot I was going to show y'all the outside. Y'all have a blessed day, and let me get in here and finish my, my cold breakfast. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Y'all have a blessed day. Remember, God loves you. Give everything to Jesus. Bye now. Whoosh.